or cane. Metal hose applications can get tricky. Sometimes you can have problems or failures due to the surrounding piping system or because of the way the hose was installed. Today we're going to show you part two of some of our do's and don'ts when it comes to installing metal hose assemblies in a piping system. Hoses can take a great deal of damage when they're torqued. Twisting it stresses the corrugations and the fitting welds and can cause it to fail. To prevent torque, don't install the hose off-center. When it tries to flex, the assembly will be torqued. Do install the hose in line with itself, called in-plane. This prevents it from torquing when it flexes, and you should stick to one plane of movement. A quick test for in-plane can be done with either a sheet of paper or a flat surface like a table. When handling long lengths or coils of hose, it's important to make sure that the hose doesn't get twisted. Don't grab one end of the coil of hose and walk away or pull on one end with the other end fixed. This will torque the hose. Do coil and uncoil it properly. Roll it like a tire or pretend like it would be on a reel and try not to twist it. When installing a hose, significant physical damage can be done to the fitting, the welds, and the braid with the various tools that may be used to install it. Don't use a wrench or other tools on the hose anywhere but on a hex pad. Gripping the hose by the braid, the braid collar or the threads will damage the assembly. Do use a second wrench or a swivel capable fitting when applicable to prevent twisting during the assembly installation. Torquing the hose during installation is common and can be an issue. If the existing piping does not have any kind of swivel or rotation, don't use an assembly with fixed end fittings at both ends, otherwise installation can torque the assembly and strain it in service. Do use a swivel, floating flange, or union, or other fitting that allows the hose assembly to twist during installation. Following these tips can help maximize your hose safety and the safety of your plant personnel. If you missed it, make sure to check out part one of our video series. And if you need any help with hose applications, make sure to give us a call or email us and we would be happy to help you.